Hi friends, welcome to Mega Technical Hub. In earlier sessions, I covered the basics of vibration and what is vibration, how it is used to predict the mach machine health. I also discussed about the three important characteristics that is amplitude, frequency and phase analysis. So it would be better you refer all that earlier topics. So it would be easy for understand the uh, next complex vibration topics which I will cover in later sessions. Today I am going to discuss about the fundamental topic that is FFT. FFT is nothing but fast Fourier transform. When a transducer is fixed over the any machinery component, it produces a electrical output that is a continuous analog signal. We call it as a sine wave. And it represents the vibration at that location. This sine wave contains all the information either velocity, displacement or in acceleration. If the problem is with only single defect, then the output is a single sine wave. But in real world, for any component, there will be a multiple sources of vibration, unbalance, looseness, there may be blade pass frequency, there may be a bad bearings. All these multiple sources of vibration, it produces the complex wave. This complex wave gives overall vibration. Because of this overall vibrations, it is in complex wave in time domain. In x axis, there is a time, and y axis, there is an amplitude. It is very difficult for the analyst to analyze the problem whether the defect is of unbalance or misalignment, looseness, bend shaft. So very difficult to analyze this complex wave. So, we need to convert this complex wave that is time domain to frequency domain for easy analysis. I will try to explain with a simple example why the FFT is required and how the time domain is converted into frequency domain. Let us consider a motor which drives the pump and at one end there is a timing gear. If you consider any unbalanced mass that is heavy spot on the system, for each rotation it gives one pulse of vibration. We consider the equipment runs at 60 rpm that is 1 hertz. You, you divide by 60 you will get a cycle in cycles per second that is 1 hertz. The shaft rotates at 1 hertz frequency. This unbalanced heavy spot it produces single sine wave in one second means one second there is a single sine wave. For each rotation of this shaft, it produces single sine wave. In case of vane pass frequency, if you insert a metallic block in between the veins of this pump, then for each rotation, each veins rubs against this metallic block. When it rubs for each rotation, it gives four pulses of vibration. That is the frequency is 1 hertz. In vibration, that vein pass is nothing but number of phase into rpm. Means the uh, 1 hertz is the frequency, then 4 into rpm that is 4 hertz. For each second, you will get 4 cycles of vibration in case of vein pass frequency. That is 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 cycles per second. There is a timing gear at the end of the pump. If any problem in the teeth of the gear, then it gives the gear mesh frequency that is number of teeth into RPM. If you consider the 12 number of teeth in each gear, the frequency is rotating frequency is 1 hertz, then the gear mesh frequency is 12 into RPM. That is 12 cycles per second. Each second there are 
ट्वेल्व साइकल्स इन द टाइम ए फॉर्म वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन एलेवन ट्वेल्व देर आर ट्वेल्व साइकल्स पर सेकेंड फॉर वन सेकेंड इफ देर इज अ गेयर प्रॉब्लम हियर द फॉर द अनबैलेंस इन द सिस्टम इट गिवस वन साइकल पर सेकेंड इफ देर इज अ वेन पास इन द सिस्टम then it gives for 1 second 4 cycles if there is a gear mesh problem then it gives 12 cycles in 1 second if for each second the number of cycles are different for unbalanced only one cycle in for the one second in vein pass there are four cycles and for the gear mesh there are 12 cycles if the machine has all the three sources of vibration that is unbalanced vein pass and gear mesh all the three sine waves are superimposed and that gives a complex wave for any vibration analyst it is very difficult to to diagnose the problem by using only the complex wave so there is a scientist called fourier he is a french mathematician In 1920, he developed a equation which turns a complex wave to simpler waves. In 1965, as a further development, two mathematicians Cooley and Tucky, they developed further the mathematical algorithms that effectively speed up the existing processing of Fourier transform. So the name is called as a fast Fourier. transform the fast fourier transform separates the individual frequencies it converts the complex wave into simpler waves and so it detects how much vibration at each frequency by considering the equipment having the three sources of vibration in the time domain if the unbalance is there there is one second one cycle then the in the frequency domain you can write it as a 1 hertz at one peak that is at the frequency x axis 1 hertz there is a dominating peak if there is a vein pass frequency then the in the frequency domain 4 hertz there is a dominating peak in case of gear mesh frequency in in, in 12 hertz frequency you have the dominating peak so in uh, all the three waves are superimposed in the time wave form in the frequency wave form we have the three dominating peaks here for the this is the unbalance this is the vein pass and this is the gear mesh frequency so you can you can detect all the clear peaks at the frequency domain in case of time domain it is a complex wave you can identify the or diagnose the problems this spectrum you also call it as a signature some experts they call it as spectrum some experts call it as signature analysis it is a graphical method to indicate the time domain versus frequency domain in case of time domain it is a complex wave and these are the simpler waves and in the in this direction there is a frequency domain versus there is x uh, frequency versus the amplitude how the complex wave is converted into simpler waves with the dominating peaks in the frequency domain in any vibration analyzer we get both the time wave form and frequency wave form by using only time wave form it is very difficult to diagnose the every problems in the frequency it clearly indicates the different peaks okay as a summarize the spectrum is derived from the waveform through the process called fast fourier transform that is fft the fast fourier transform uses the microprocessor algorithm that mathematical operation which is used in the computers it applies to the incoming sample data from the signal captured in the analog world that is time domain so this must be transformed into 
frequency domain using a series of mathematical operations i think you have understood clearly about the fft that is fast fourier transform how the fft the time domain converted into frequency domain why we need frequency domain for the vibration analysis thank you